Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today we will talk about the silicon controlled rectifier or thyristor and how to use it as a switch. This video is sponsored by PCBWay, a Chinese PCB manufacturer. First prototype order is free. Free shipping for PCB assembly orders. You can use my special coupon that you can see in the video description. Join in PCBWay's second PCB design contest to win 1000 US dollars cash prize. This is the thyristor symbol. It has three terminals, anode to positive, cathode to negative, and the gate. It works in the following way. Normally, there is no conduction of current between anode and cathode. It is as if we had as an open switch here. In order for the thyristor to turn on, we must inject a small pulse of current into the gate. Then the thyristor turns on and the current can flow from anode to cathode, even if there is no longer a current into the gate. In order for the thyristor to turn off, we must stop the flow of current that passes through it. Here we have a circuit to turn on a lamp using a thyristor. We have the lamp, the thyristor, a couple of resistors, normally open switch and normally closed, plus a battery or power supply. Initially, the thyristor is off, so the current cannot flow through the lamp. In order to turn on the thyristor, and therefore the lamp, we must press this normally open switch and the current will flow into the gate. Then the thyristor is now conducting, is on, and the current can flow through the lamp, so the lamp turns on. Now, if we want to turn off the lamp, we must interrupt the flow of current through the thyristor. So we press momentarily this other switch, the current stops and the thyristor goes off and so the lamp. We need this resistor here because the current that must flow through the gate must be small. And this other resistor is needed to add stability and avoid false trigger of the thyristor. And here's our test circuit, same as in the diagram. Normally closed switch, normally open switch, the two resistors, the thyristor, and our load that is an incandescent lamp. So let's turn on the lamp by pressing the normally open switch. And to turn it off, we must cut the current by pressing the normally closed switch. There you have it. You may ask why use a thyristor and not a simple mechanical switch? Well, I can think of at least two reasons. One is that the thyristor is cheaper than the mechanical switch, especially for large currents, tens or hundreds of amps. Also, the thyristor do not have contacts that wear out and it will last for longer time. The other reason is that you may have a load that you need to turn on and off at a large frequency, for example, in switch mode power supplies and that simply cannot be done with a mechanical switch. Thanks for your visit, I hope you liked the video and see you in the next one.